So there seems to be this war on anime, in my opinion. A really annoying one at that, done by a, a cavalcade of of unelected, unoth- who lack an authority, who are busybodies. And they have nothing better to do with their time, and they have too much money on their hands. So they have to ruin other people's hobbies. And the reason I say this is because if it's not Tencent, it's Sony or Funimation. Well, actually, it's Sony and Funimation are technically in the same camp on this. Or it's people in in either Hollywood who make shitty adaptations of anime. Or it's people in Washington trying to censor it. And not just Washington. You could say the same thing about Australia and Russia. I mean... Russia just put a ban on certain animes over there and because a bunch of busybodies got their butts hurt because some girl who committed suicide was a fan of Death Note. And in Australia, some Karens tried to get a bunch of it banned and she's trying to see if she can get it banned in other countries. I forget what that bitch's name was, but... Yeah, well. And this feels like a moral panic to me. Well, it's, is what I would like to say. But it feels worse than a moral panic. It feels like an outright war on it because ten cent they will infect it. They will ruin it somehow. Like they will not let anything be risque or whatever. Because this is the problem with communists. They are Puritans in a way. They have their own form of political correctness, and that is why I hate the shit out of them. The Puritans in the West, they are no better than communists, in my opinion. If you don't conform to their ideals, you are you are enemy number one, persona non grata. And they need to, be to- need to be told to F off at all times. And the people in Washington, they don't even care. They're just doing it to get reelected or to make themselves look good. And they're trying to police the internet. And they specifically need to be told to fuck off. But Sony seems to be pushing more aggressively to get into anime because they've already bought, uh, what was it, uh, Crunchyroll, which was not a good organization in my opinion. They, some of them were actually trying to tell people in Japan how to make their mangas, saying they had to do this or do that and not let them do it the way they wanted. But Sony seems to be more aggressively doing it because they seem to be buying up more and more people involved with the manga and anime industry. And I'm just wondering if it's going to get to a point where they start injecting political correctness into it or because they're, they're going to be told, oh no, this sells in the West. And they might, and some people in Japan might think it's a good idea just to set, try this out. Some of them who try it might actually get some pushback. I'm actually hoping for that because the people in Japan aren't like the people in the West. They aren't constantly capitulating to this bullshit on a daily basis. But the people who are trying to push this on Japan, they have lots of money, and the people in Japan, they love having money, because the people who run their businesses, it is all about the money you make and how much you bring in, and I think Funimation's actually going to start trying to buy their way in, because they already paid some money to be on their boards, and they'll probably try to pay more to get their stuff, their bullshit injected into the mangas and animes in the subs, because they aren't happy with just corrupting the dubs. And yeah, this is kind of scary in a way. This reminds me of... This is probably how they should have done the war on video games, because they just attacked it directly when it was video games. They tried to destroy it from the outside. They never tried doing that from within. Which is why I think the progressives and these pseudo-intellectuals are a far more dangerous enemy to entertainment because they don't sell for just destroying you completely from the outside. They infect you from within like like a virus. They kind of remind me of uh, Cicero's quote about traitors, specifically the part where he says a traitor infects the political body from within so it can no longer re- resist. A murderer is less to fear. Well, the old enemies to video games like Jack Thompson, they were what you would call the murderer or the one who wanted to murder video games, progressives who are killing video games more effectively, they are the traitor. And they are far more pernicious and worse than you can ever imagine. Because they act like they're all for what you are, but no, they're destroying you from within and injecting their own bullshit. And putting these messages to beat your customer over the head with. And when the customer doesn't like being beaten over the head, they say, what's the, wrong, what's the matter, bigot? 
Like, they consider you a bigot or traitor or anything if you do not conform to their bullshit. That's why I say political correctness is evil. It's either, because it's a very simple message. It's either you're with us or against us. Okay, I'm against you. I am severely against you. I hope your ideology burns to the ground like communism usually does. Although I hope the country doesn't burn with them. Or the entertainment industry. Because they've already ruined the movie industry. Because there's not a lot of good movies out there anymore. I don't watch movies anymore. I don't go to movie theaters. It does not sound interesting. And movies kind of did what they, they're trying to do with video games. Now the problem is... Video games, they aren't some this passive little entertainment thing. It's, and I say the same, and I think this will probably be the same problem they'll find in anime, but with video games it was different because video games are a challenge. The player versus the controller, the player versus the player, the player versus the game. I mean, Razor first had a pretty good point about this, so I think I'll use it. Um, you don't have to t twist our arms to tell you to F off. We were quite literally programmed from childhood to do so. That was how the, and that was probably why the gamers resisted this political correctness bullshit. I think anime might also provide them some kind of a repercussion because... Maybe. Because the same thing happened with comics. And this is a demographic that doesn't deal with challenges. This is a demographic that just reads the content and goes about their lives. Well... The comic industry got some pushback from their readers in the form of Comicsgate, which went about as well as a uh, porno shoot in uh, Motown, I think is the joke. Or a porno shoot in, in the town, from, in the villa, from the town, about as well as a porno shoot in the town from Footloose would go. And I think that will happen with anime because and manga because manga are just comics and comic readers don't want to be lectured to either. And I highly, highly doubt manga readers in Japan are going to be happy with this. They might quit it altogether, like some people in the West have quit comics, or at least in America, some have. Some people read them for fun, like they're shitty, but they read them for content to do videos about. Like, there was this one guy called your boy Zach. He did... He would just read shitty comics and tear them up on camera. I think some people in Japan might actually do that, because there has got to be some content creators in Japan who do this stuff. Actually, I think the guy uh, Black Pigeon Speaks is one of them. But he doesn't do about comics. Anyway, back to anime and manga. I think the war of entertainment is just progressively going from entertainment to entertainment. It went from TV to video games, from TV, well, from TV, from movies and TV to video games and comics, and now it's going from American comics to Japanese comics, and I think at some point it's going to go to Bond Destiné. It has to, and but I think they'll get a little resistance there. As we all know, the French don't resist much. Well, in a straight up fight, after they've lost, they'll, that's when they start to resist. But in the straight up fight, oh no, they. They spread their cheeks and prepare and basically think of France in preparation. But, but all joking aside, um, it will be sad if that happens because I just got into Bon Dessinée, which is French comics, and I don't want to lose it. I just got into it, and there's granted, I probably will only be reading older comics, but anyway. Back to manga and anime. Again, I think there will be backlash, but the question I have is how big will the backlash be? Because we've already seen that people in Japan have a higher tolerance for stuff than people in the West do. They were willing... I mean, they tolerate stuff like Redo of Healer. I wonder if they're going to tolerate the West imposing its own new imperialism on them as gracefully. And... That's all I can really say on it without going into the article. And I hate reading, I'm not going to lie. There's a reason why I read comics mostly. And I'm, and I'm new to comics. I'm, I've not been into it for... A, I've only been into it for maybe five years. But... I'm sorry, I keep saying but. That is a real annoying habit of mine. It feels like... Yeah, it just feels like... For a, 
Like, reading books is a pain in the ass for me. I can never read stuff that bores me to tears. Well, actually, reading in general bores me to tears. Figuratively, of course. And, I don't know, that's all I can really say about reading. But it would suck because if manga goes, then that means American comics are going to go. Well, they've already gone. I mean, Marvel's already infected in a lost cause. At this point, I think it's better just to pull the plug and remember them fondly. Thank God Stanley didn't live long enough to see it go down the shitter. And DC seems to be getting infected now, which is sad. And I have no idea. And the other comic book industries in America are already infected. I mean, Image Comics... The ones who made Spawn, they're infected. Like, they're infected with leftists, uh, mainly, who like to inject their own political messages. There's Dynamite Comics. They are obviously infected. Like, their run of the shadow made it plain as day they are infected. And normally when you get an infection, you usually cut it off before it can spread. Unfortunately, it's too late for that. Like, if they wanted to cut off a source of, of cancer, they should have cut out, like, M- Mark Wade. Uh, what was that other guy's name? He, he raped Superman to no end. Uh, no, Mark Wade. Tom King definitely should have been given the boot a long time ago. Brian Michael Bendis, that's the other guy. He should have been given the boot the second he entered D.C. Like, if he, the minute he walked up to that front door, they should have been like, Get out. That's what is what they should have done. I mean, Marvel should have been a wake-up call for them when they saw the people fleeing them in records and they were losing some major talent like Jim Starling. That should have been a wake-up call to Marvel, but as we all know, the people running Marvel no longer have a functioning brain. They're invalids. They're crazy as can be. They inject politics into their comics. And it used to be you could inject comics and it was entertaining to, to a certain extent. Like, even their adaptations now have political things in them. Or will, at some point. Uh, Zack Snyder, I'm not as worried about. I think he's a straight shooter. Or at the very least, he doesn't care about politics as far as I know. But I think future DC movies are going to have some political injection into it. And the Marvel movies, I've never watched them. I have no sympathy for them. I agree with... Mainly out of spot, I agree with uh, Martin Scorsese. Mainly because people bitching about him. I was like, he pissed all these people off. I love this guy. Like, if there is one thing I have in common with these cretins online, it's that I'm very spiteful. And when I see people attacking someone for a stupid reason, I get spiteful real fast. And I kind of agree with Martin Scorsese. They're not, the, they're not his kind of cinema. There's something new. Oh, I forget what Martin Scorsese said exactly. But then you had that dipshoe who played Black Panther come out and set, accuse him of being racist. Which is why I didn't feel so bad when I heard he bit the bullet. I mean, no offense. I mean, it's sad that he died. But when I see people do that, I'm like, yeah, this guy gets no sympathy from me. Fuck him. Look, when your only response to some is to bring out the race card and slam it down harder than Barack Obama did. Well, I should not scratch that. Barack Obama did it way worse. I mean, he did it so fast you could swear you were playing Slapjack with uh, the reverse flash. And... Yeah, that's all I can really say is that there seems to be a war on not just anime, but... And I know this kind of teetered on past the point of relevancy to anime and manga. But I really like anime and manga because it is, to me, what American comics used to be. They used to inspire people in a way. Well, Spider-Man, I think, still inspires people in a way. But some people have said that they take... They take inspiration from manga like their heroes are the guy from Demon Slayer. They said they look up to them more than they do their own parents, which I found that a little disturbing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've heard of mangas that can inspire people. I mean, I'm inspired by Jobless Reincarnate, mainly by the main character 
just wanted to do better than he did in his previous life and do and better himself. I am inspired by wanting to do better and improve myself. But I wouldn't say I'm more inspired or respectful of them than I am my own parents. I mean, that's just weird to me. I mean, there's some life lessons I've taken from entertainment I've read. I mean, well, as you know, I haven't. Like, the cynicism and paranoia I have has always been there. That and it's lessons from what I've heard have happened to other men. So, there's that. But it will be sad to see manga go. Just because I'm I'm not that new. I have not been into it that long. Like, when I was in middle school, I think I got into it. But then I got bored for a while and would just check the internet from time to time to see if my favorite mangas has gotten an update. Beyond that, I had long forgotten about it. Till I think, 2018 when Goblin Slayer came out. Then I got back into it. So I've been into it for almost two years now, or back into it for almost two years, and I'm just losing it. I got into comics five years ago, and then in 2017 I learned, oh, I'm losing that too. Which sucks because I had just discovered Red Hood, and I was loving him, and now I found, oh, it's ruined, it's all ruined. Anyway, that's uh, my rant for today. I really do not know if I want to publish this or not. <laughs> But, um, yeah, to, uh, quote, it's a Gundam, everything I love dies. Sorry, it's not as funny as the way he says it. It's, like, it's a Gundam is a funny guy to listen to. I think it's mostly that New Yorker accent. All I got is this monotone Arkansan accent. Well, not much of an accent, just, an, just a monotone asshole who grew up in Arkansas. But, yeah, I think that's all. And I remember the game was obviously rigged from the start. And if you have not figured that out by now, oh boy, do you need a reality check. Or something. Because if the whole game stock situation did not enlighten you to that fact, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I really do not know what to tell you at this point. Like, it's all, it's all fucked. We are all monumentally fucked. Especially in America. I think people in America are screwed. We're going down the path of least resistance. We don't seem to be re resisting our government screwing us over. For the most part. I think some people in America are fighting it. but And... I think some people in Europe are also fighting because their governments aren't that great either. If you don't believe me, look at the UK. I mean, they tried to th arrest a guy and throw him in jail for making his dog do a... for mocking the Nazis. Like, if you told me one day I had to move to the UK, I'd be like, yeah, no, I'd rather stay in America or move to Japan. I mean, in Japan, they'll work my ass off, but for now, I know it's not as bad. And... Yeah, no, it would suck. Either that or maybe... Well, no, not Finland. If you're a guy, you can be fucked in Finland. Denmark? Uh, no. Russia? Hell no. I mean, they banned anime there. If you ban some, I love you. You are immediately put on my shit list. Uh, so yeah, Japan's probably the only one I would go to. And it's not a good place. It's not that great. You have to work your ass off... Your parents can disown you if you don't do well in school. And I did not do that well in school. So my parents probably would have disowned me by now if I was born in Japan. I would have done very poorly. Probably would have had to join the military. Or asked if I could join the American military because I don't think Japan has much military activity. Now all they have is defense. I think. I forgot what happened to them after World War II. I know we nuked the crap out of them. They signed some treaty, and the only condition I know of it was their emperor was allowed to keep his title. And... I think they lost their military after that. Like, they were fucked. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we fucked them royally after that war. Like, we bent them over the table and showed them the 50 states. And it's sad. It really is sad. But, anyway, this topic, this got way off topic real fast, but I actually had fun doing this one. And again, I don't know if I'm going to post this or not, but you know what the hell, what did I had fun? 
and, and I just wanted to get some stuff off my chest. That's another reason I do these videos. Now I do it as a hobby. Like, I've given up on doing well on YouTube or BitChute. I have given up on that. I'm just doing videos to do videos. And if, they, and if someone likes my content, good, I'm glad I entertained you. If not, oh well. If you didn't like it, you are still free to tell me why you didn't like it. It would help me improve my content. If it's for the fact you see a single image in each video, that's because I'm new to this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I do this the same way I do schoolwork. I make it up as I go along. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this rant, and uh, goodbye.